Ball Super Manga Chapter 63 Draft Summary English please that was English, but before we start, I want to appreciate everybody, and if you're new to this channel, then go ahead and subscribe, we are giving a PlayStation 4 away. Also feel free to check all our different content, as we are trying to come out with all possible theories for the Galactic Patrol arc. But most important, don't forget to finger the bell icon and turn on all notifications so you don't miss your latest Dragon Ball Super theories. First off, shout out to Dragon Ball Hype for always having this content available for us. Now let's get to the good stuff. Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 63, Mirus Resolution. Jaco questions where Mirus has been all this time. Mirus apologizes to Jaco. Nothing. Many things have happened. Jaco says Moro is now way beyond what they can handle as a galactic patrol man. Mirus explains that he understands and that he's there to finish training. Training? Jaco asks. Some Goku's training, says Mirus. Now I think it's hilarious how Jacko makes Mirus apologize to him, but what I think is really interesting is what Mirus says. He says that he's there to finish Goku's training, and that right there makes a thousand questions. Would that mean that Goku is gonna come out with the Master Ultra Instinct? Also very interesting as Mono reacts when he hears that Goku still in training. Then the summary continues with Jacko questions where Goku and the others have gone. Moro questions just what Mirus is after realizing Goku and the others are now missing. Where did they go? says Moro. I got them away from the area. Mirus replies. Moro tells Mirus to stop fooling around while he dispels his barrier. Wow, that is sick. How Mirus got everybody away from the area. I mean, Jacko didn't even saw it. And you know that Jacko can see everything. And he didn't even saw it. He was questioning Mirus, hey, where the others have gone? Back to the summary. As the barrier falls, Mirus tells Jacko he's going to buy some time. He rushes Moro and strikes him with his staff. Moro blocks and notes that he can feel Mirus' life force energy. Your identity is that of a god, right? Mirus smirks and then strikes at Moro again. Moro dodges, then goes to attack Mirus again, who dodges and extends his staff to strike Moro in the face. Moro holds himself as he's tossed away, whipping the blood from his lip. I see, Moro says. And the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 63 Drafts Summary has come to an end and is amazing. The barrier has fallen down and we know we got Krillin out there with a bag full of sensu beams. We have Dende out there as well and a possible Whis and a God of Destruction. As we know Mirus must be with Whis at all times because he must be delivered to the Grand Priest. Also, it makes me wonder what's gonna happen since Moro knows that Mirus is some sort of divine deity. Also, I think it's hilarious when Mirus smirks at Moro and starts striking him with his staff again and again and again to the point that makes Moro go back and regroup. Do you think that Mirus is being way too overconfident? I mean, Moro seems like he now taking this seriously when he says, I see. But one thing is for sure, and it's that I can't wait for the next images and leaks that will happen before the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 63 is released. But let me know what you think. Do you think Mirus will be able to buy the time for the Sea Warriors to recuperate so they can counter-attack Lord Moro? Or do you think that now by Moro knowing that Mirus is some sort of deity, do you think he has some sort of a plan to counter-attack Mirus and perhaps 
do something amazing, whatever it is, I want you to force your theory down below the comment section and let the whole multiverse know what will happen on Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 63. But most important, don't forget to like, comment, hate, and subscribe so you don't miss your latest Dragon Ball Super Theories. Huh? Mochirun da zo! Matara, Zenchao!